Hi, my name is Rob Dodsworth and I'm with Cetogenics. Cetogenics is the North American distributor for BMT, German Manufactured Surgical Instruments. BMT are 420, 440 grade, high martensitic surgical grade stainless steel. Other manufacturers will use 200 and 300 grade, which don't last as long and are inferior in quality. All instruments, however, have to be maintained properly for long lasting uh, efficiency and effectiveness. Following are my five pearls for keeping your instruments maintained and properly cared for. Pearl number one, when you first receive an instrument, do not put it directly into the sterilizer. All instruments coming from the manufacturing shipping process will have accumulated residue in the form of oils, solutions, or whatever that will affect the instrument during the sterilization process. You'll end up with a blue tinge on your instrument. Therefore, wash your instruments immediately upon receipt with a warm, soapy solution, hand dry them, and then put them into the sterilizer. Remember that staining precipitates corrosion, which precipitates rust. Any instrument that is rusted or pitted is a bacteria tra trap and will have to be discarded. Pearl number two. There are certain instruments that should not go into the ultrasonic cleaner. They include periosteals, scissors, and tungsten carbide inserted needle drivers. The vibrations in the ultrasonic cleaning uh, well can cause nicks and gouges in the tips of the periosteals. Similarly with scissors, that can also happen, but the added problem is that the rivet joint might loosen up over time. The tungsten carbide inserts can also be dislodged over time, and you'll have an instrument failure during the course of your surgery, possibly. The best thing to do with your instruments is to hand scrub them, hand wash them. If you have access to a uh, newer version of the uh, dent uh, dishwashers available, Please use that, keep them separated in a cassette, and that'll be fine. Pearl number three. If your scissors don't cut, there are probably good reasons why. Check your scissor for the cutting efficiency of the blade to any nicks and gouges. Take an Arkansas fine grinding stone and use the three uh, lubricated Arkansas fine grinding stone and do the three-step uh, sharpening process prior to sterilizing. You can also check your scissors on a regular basis by just doing this simple test. Open the scissor for both arms are extended. Close it like that. If the scissor's arms stop there, you still have cutting action. If your scissor arm goes all the way to the opposing side, you've lost cutting action. Scissors cut at the tip. 90% of their cutting action is there and the tips cross. If the arm goes all this way, what's happened is the rivet is loosened up and your blades are now parallel. And you'll have to discard the scissor. Pearl number four. Don't cross-contaminate your instruments. Anything that is titanium, chrome, or, or stainless steel should not be mixed. Dissimilar qualities of stainless steel, like 200, 300, should not be mixed with 420, 440 grade. What happens is there's a, a chemical reaction called galvanic action, and impurities will leach out of the lower quality instrument to the higher one. If you've ever had a brownish ring around the hinge of a extraction forcep, a stain, then that's one of the reasons why. Pearl number five. You have to sharpen your instruments frequently. You have to replenish on a regular basis. And you have to um, lubricate often. So as far as sharpening goes, again, I mentioned you'll have to use an Arkansas fine grinding stone, lubricate it with the proper oil, do a three-step sharpening process, uh, find the bevel of the blade and sharpen accordingly. Replenish by using the surgical milk bath. A surgical milk bath is a solution. You mix one part to five parts distilled water. Fully immerse your instruments in there. It will uh, replenish the stainless steel coating of the instruments through oxidization. It will also help removing all the gunk that accumulates in the hinges and things of that nature. The last bit there, the lubrication. Use a proper lubricating oil from your supplier. Don't use a three-in-one oil that you might get from... Um, your, uh, your hardware store. It will not handle the high heat of a sterilizer. So those are my five uh, pearls of wisdom for instrument maintenance and care. You've invested a lot of money in your instruments. Make sure you care for them properly and they'll last you a long time. Thank you.